Can you believe it? A whole decade has passed since we embarked on this incredible journey together. We've just wrapped up 10 thrilling seasons of The Curse of Oak Island TV show. And guess what? In the new season, astonishing discoveries were made, particularly on Lot 5, that truly sparked our imaginations and got our gears turning. Now, let's talk about Lot 5. If you go through the official Quest of Oak Island webpage sponsored by John Stemmer, there's a fascinating contribution about this specific location. They uncovered a ring of stones and Laird, the expert, believes it might be the foundation of a round structure. Intriguing, isn't it? Let's take a closer look at the structure on Lot 5. It's situated about 100 feet from the shoreline, and you can see the concentric rings of stones. Barbara Kopak, a knowledgeable contributor, made a captivating observation. She suggested that this structure could potentially be a kiln, possibly a lime kiln. When you compare its shape and design to an ancient Roman kiln discovered in Europe, the resemblance is striking. It's worth noting that Barbara's expertise as an architectural artist allowed her to make this intriguing connection. The proximity to the shoreline adds to its allure. The images were captured using the Muon drone, an incredible technology employed by the Quest of Oak Island Facebook page with John Stemmer. Considering the possibility that it's a kiln opens up exciting possibilities. One theory that caught attention was that it could have been used for pipe making. Given the speculation around a flood tunnel system and the presence of a hydraulic mechanism, pipes would have been crucial for lifting and lowering the vault. Location is key when it comes to kilns historically. They were usually situated away from settlements to prevent smoke from disturbing people. Lot 5 seems to meet this criterion perfectly. Furthermore, proximity to fuel and water is crucial. Fortunately, Oak Island provides both with abundant wood resources for fuel and readily available water for clay dilution. Now it must be emphasized that all of this remains speculative, but it's truly fascinating to explore the potential connection between Oak Island structures and ancient kilns. In the slideshow, you can see various kiln constructions, including those discovered in Europe, some dating back to Roman times. The similarities are truly remarkable, don't you think? Next. Let's take a look at this shape. This shape was the main inspiration behind Barbara's suggestion that it could be a kiln. Notice how it extends outward. This could indicate that there is more to discover beyond what we currently see. If you see a picture, you can clearly spot the ring filled with rubble. Now, this rubble could be part of the foundation, similar to the stone wall on Lot 26. Alternatively, it might just be the result of filling in with rubble after a construction project on Oak Island. If they were digging tunnels, they would have had a lot of rubble to dispose of, and this could have been a convenient spot. Pay attention to how far it extends backward. Then there's another picture of a Roman kiln. Notice the abundance of small rocks arranged in long rows, forming concentric rings, much like what we observe on Oak Island. If this is indeed a kiln, it could resemble this type, and the area they are currently excavating might be where the main chamber is located. Remember in one of the recent episodes of Curse of Oak Island, they were pounding on a rock at the bottom of the pit, and it sounded hollow. Perhaps they haven't reached the firebox area yet. Those rocks that sounded hollow could potentially be covering the firebox. Now, how they constructed the temporary dome, we can't be sure. It could have been made of rocks or something else entirely. They did discover charcoal fragments at the pine tar kiln on lot 15 and on the stone wall on lot 26. That indicates the presence of fire. Additionally, they found a piece of pottery, which gives us further insight into what it might be. The images showcase various kiln constructions found in Europe by the University of York. They date back to Roman times, proving that this is not a new technology. Now, take a closer look at the kiln on lot 5. It's fascinating to see how close it is to the ocean. Anyway, all right, let's break this down and have some fun with it. First things first, imagine this mysterious location where we find ourselves. It could be the perfect spot for a secret operation. Now, what if we told you that there might be a kiln hidden there? Yep, a kiln. But hold on, before you start picturing a bunch of potters making beautiful ceramics, let's think about what this kiln could be used for. Our imagination is running wild and we're thinking about pipes. Yes, pipes. 
You see, there's this fascinating theory floating around about a flood tunnel system on Oak Island. And guess what? We have evidence to support it, like that valve and hole under the trap door. So here's where it gets interesting. Maybe, just maybe, the tunnels being constructed underground are utilizing some clever piping. They could be creating a hydraulic system to control the water flow. We know it sounds pretty far-fetched, but let's have some fun with it. Think about it. Using pipes instead of open tunnels makes sense. Not all parts of the island's rocky terrain would be ideal for tunnels. Some areas might erode or cave in if water were flowing through them. So why not use pipes to ensure a steady flow without risking any cave-ins? Now here's where it gets even more exciting. Let's dive into the ancient world of pottery, my friend. We're talking about an age-old technique that dates back to the Roman period. Clay pipes, my friend. They used to form these pipes around a wooden form, but the tricky part was creating a seamless connection. So they cleverly turned to the potter's wheel, an invention that goes back to ancient Samaria around 3500 BC. Fascinating, isn't it? But wait, there's more. We need to talk about glazing. You know, that protective coating that keeps the water from seeping into the clay and ruining the ceramic. The Romans were quite crafty with their glazing techniques. They used salt, lead, or tin, which came later, to create a tough, impermeable surface. Now here's where things get a bit wild. A pottery teacher claims that if you mix salt water or ocean water with the clay, it forms a unique bloom on the surface. And when you fire it in a kiln, you get a stunning salt glaze. Can you imagine those ancient Romans creating these beautiful pipes with an orange peel texture using ocean water? Mind-blowing. Okay, now let's talk about a piece of ceramic Laird found on the island. Laird believes it's from the early 1700s, but who knows? Maybe it's actually part of a pipe. It doesn't look like your typical straight pipe, but guess what? Pipes don't have to be straight. This piece might belong to a larger pipe system with a radius of, say, 12 or 14 inches. And guess what? The type of clay used in this ceramic piece resembles the redware found on Oak Island. Could it be a piece of the puzzle? Next, let us introduce you to the Romans again. They were masters of pipe laying. They had these intricate pipelines that used multiple smaller pipes instead of one huge one. It allowed them to control water pressure and flow more effectively. There's a fascinating excavation photo of a Roman pipeline, and it just shows how complex and advanced their systems were. Who knows? Oak Island might have had a similar setup. There's one more mind-blowing revelation for you. Remember the staple found at the Great Quadrilateral? Well, staples have been popping up in unexpected places lately. They found them in the Notre Dame Cathedral and even in the Castle of Belvoir in Israel. Can you believe it? These staples were used to bind stones together during construction, and they date back to the 1160s in Notre Dame. Talk about ancient engineering techniques. So, what does all this mean for Oak Island? Well, it's all speculation. We're just having a good time exploring possibilities. But here's a wild theory. What if these staples found on Oak Island were used in some architectural feat? Maybe they were part of a sophisticated structure that required precise stone binding. Who knows? It's all part of the Oak Island mystery. Now, before we sign off, let us throw in a mention of that stone wall they found. It might not be a wall in the traditional sense, but it's filled with debris, just like the circle of rocks. And guess what? They discovered charcoal underneath it. There's still so much to uncover and piece together. That's it for this video. Feel free to explore our previous videos to get your mind blown. Also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever we upload an intriguing content. Until next time, goodbye.